Hey guys, my name's Alex. I'm an art student from Canada, but I'm currently studying in the UK. And we had a three week long Easter break where I mustered up the courage to hop on a flight and visit family I hardly knew in both Ireland and Paris. So welcome to my travel vlog where I experience a whole bunch of new things and of course do some artwork. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, walking to the train station. It's like four in the morning. I'm fucking tired and I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't really traveled alone before, but I know I can do it. And yeah, so yeah, going to Ireland, baby. I'm super hyped. It'll be so fun. I'm gonna be visiting family that I haven't seen in like 17 years. This is crazy. This is insane. Cause like last time I woke up at four in the morning, I was like to do a shift at Starbucks. And now I'm like halfway across the world. It's insane. Okay, believe it or not, I actually wasn't crying in that clip. It was just so early that my eyes were like, what is going on? But anyways, I hopped on a train and then I hopped on a plane and I was just super hyped the whole time. Again, I never thought I would ever get the opportunity to go to Ireland. Just this whole trip was such an experience. Very, very crazy to even like go to an airport and be like, okay, I need to find these people. I barely even know what they look like. I don't know what they're going to be like, but we're going to do this. And it was amazing. I didn't film too much at the beginning just because it was all really new and overwhelming. I was in a new country. I was immersed in this culture. I was visiting family. I, again, didn't really know that well. But every single day, they made an effort to take me out to, like, a gallery or a castle or, like, just walking around, going to Dublin, going to the counties outside, going on, like, little trips. I even got to do some, like, local things because my aunt volunteers at this, like, dog rescue and they had this whole, like, Easter day and I got to do, like, face painting on the kids. I probably face painted, like, a hundred kids. It would have been so funny to film, but I was busy. Like, I was working hard. It was so fun. So I got to do some fancy things and I got to do some, like, local nice community activities, which was super awesome to get kind of a taste of both worlds. Hi vlog. Um, I haven't turned on my camera much previously because I've been spending a lot of time with family, which has been the whole point of this trip. And I'm very, very happy to have been able to like reconnect with everyone and just spend lots of fun time together. We've been going out and doing lots of cool things, been going to lots of like castles and just, I don't know, exploring the surrounding area. Um, I thought I'd turn on my camera right now because we're taking a little bit of a road trip and I thought I'd bring you guys along with us. Um, we're gonna be going to the Cliffs of Moher, which is like three hours away, but I'm very excited because I've seen lots of amazing pictures and yeah, it'll be really crazy. So fingers crossed we can see stuff and it's not too rainy and socked in and, and I don't know, cause the weather here is very unpredictable, but so yeah, fingers crossed that we're able to see some really cool stuff along the way. And yeah, it's been, pretty surreal that I'm like in Ireland. I never thought I'd like be here. So it's, it's super cool. Like everything we do, I'm just like, it's just fun. Even going to like little corner stores and stuff. It's just like, everything is a new experience and it's just so awesome. So like I said, I thought I'd bring you guys along on our little road trip. So here we go. Not only was I taking lots of pictures and videos throughout this road trip, I was taking them in the like sense that I was going to do art after because if you guys don't already know, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, I've been keeping a travel sketchbook and all the pictures that I take, if I can't sketch there in the moment, I'll like put them in my book. So I was like, hey, what am I going to draw? And I was just so inspired by everything that it was like so overwhelming in like a good way. The cliffs, beautiful. The little towns we drove through, beautiful. The countryside and the farms and the, I think the abandoned buildings from like the, the famine or something, like so much history, everything was super, super cool. My aunt let me borrow her watercolors, so I brought them along with me and I'm gonna be adding um, a painting in my travel sketchbook. I've been really enjoying adding all these pages and stuff and just going on adventures and then taking photos and then finding inspiration to do art and having a collection of adventures in your book is like really rewarding and fun. So I'm excited to add the cliffs. Let's go painting. Oh. 
Okay, so this is the first layer. As you can tell, I am not a fan of watercolor and I hate it and I'm so not patient. I don't let things dry and then I just make it all muddy and gross. But you know what? I don't really care because I'm putting pencil crayon over top anyway, so as long as I have some colors that are brown, that's all that I really want. Um, I do like this. This little area is really pretty. A little bit of an update. I found a blow dryer and I, I made sure that everything was like really dry. Um, and now I'm going over the top with pencil crayon, my favorite thing to do, add some detail in. And it's actually coming along a lot better than I thought it was. This might be like my favorite page in the sketchbook so far. It's just really fun, I love all the colors and stuff. And yeah, but it's really late. Um, I'm kind of tired, but I'm gonna keep drawing, I don't care. Um, I'm listening to this like Irish folklore podcast, which has been really fun because I feel like I'm learning more about their, like, their tales and, and stories and stuff and it's also inspiring like the drawings that I've been doing and it's also just interesting to like learn about and listen to so um, it's called Unreal Folklore I think but yeah, if you want to check it out I would highly recommend anyways I'm gonna continue this drawing I will come back with an update when it's done I guess I forgot to give an update. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep. It was like really, really late. But anyways, here is the final sketchbook spread. This is definitely one of my favorite pages in my book, so I'm very happy that I stayed up late to finish it. But yeah, we got up early the next morning and hit the road again. Okay, so um, we came back from our trip. It was really fun. It was awesome. It was super epic. Um, but now I'm packing my bag. I'm just sitting on the floor, packing my bag. It's kind of sad. Um, but I am going to Paris, so it's also very exciting because I am going to go see my aunt that I haven't seen in 10 years. So this whole trip has just been about like visiting family and um, gaining new experiences and having fun and travel. What? And adding to my travel sketchbook. Um, Life has been a blur, but we're gonna go to Paris, what? And here we go again, just like deja vu. Woke up early the next morning, and I'm talking super early, before the sun got up. My great uncle was so nice, he drove me to the airport, and then boom, got on a flight to go see my aunt, that I, again, I have not seen in like a billion years. <laughs> It was crazy. I remember just not even really filming much of Paris just because I was so insanely overwhelmed by like everything. Kind of in a good way, but also just like, whoa, just like everything's different. I do speak a bit of French, but it just like, I didn't brush up on my French before going and it was just, it was a lot, but it was so cool to experience the different types of food and the culture, how different the lifestyle was in Paris versus back home in Canada, and then even comparing it to Ireland. Um, and then also the hub of art. I got to visit lots of museums and castles, and it was insane. It was also very cool to do it with my aunt because she is an art historian, so she had lots to say about even the architecture, walking around the city, she knew so much, so it was a very, like once in a lifetime thing you know it was, it was definitely cooler to do it with your family and with her rather than if I just went alone it wouldn't have been the same at all so I'm very grateful to have like you know gotten a chance to get to know her better and also just get more of a insight on the what was around me as someone who doesn't know anything <laughs> coming from her she has lived in Paris for a very long time and pretty much knows everything so it was very cool <laughs> okay I'm in the washroom right now um I just flew back to England from Paris it was really crazy really hectic but I'm really happy to be back um I will update you guys in a bit I'm just in the washroom like I said because it's really busy there's a lot of people around I felt really tired and woke up at like five in the morning to take the train with my aunt to the airport and it's been a really crazy day, so almost home. So after getting on another train, doing some sketches in my travel journal, I finally made it back to Plymouth. I made it! 
I made it out alive! <laughs> After three weeks of travel, I definitely was a little bit oversaturated and I needed to get home to somewhere that I was a little bit more familiar with, so I was very excited. But that three weeks was a really good like learning experience for me. Um, it, it taught me a lot about traveling in areas where the culture is different and you know you have to learn about you know different languages and different customs and especially in France like getting to to know like it's funny like I studied French for six years but I just didn't feel prepared when I was in Paris at all like it was like oh damn okay this is like very very different and it was cool to experience a culture that was so different and where they're speaking a different language that you like can kind of understand and lots of um, you know different foods which is really really good to experience but yeah it was very very hectic traveling is amazing but it's not always like this glorified thing sometimes I feel like I'm not very good at filming vlogs because when I'm like breaking down into tears and crying and stuff I don't just pull out my camera and I'm like hi guys I'm crying it's so fucking annoying right so I just find that a lot of the times I'm just showing like the good in things, which mostly it is, especially when you're traveling and experiencing new stuff, but it can be really overwhelming. And there were moments where I was like, I was kind of just like, oh, I am about to cry. I feel like, whoa, because your whole world is just kind of turned upside down and you're just, you know, in a place where you just like nothing you do is kind of right. And it's crazy. And it's also, really overwhelming being with family that you don't know very well, but you've heard about, and you've heard lots about um, from different people in your family, and you've heard different stories, and then they tell you different stories that don't match up. So it's kind of, it was really interesting learning more about my family and more about how important it is really to connect with people. And um, yeah, it was quite hard to like leave my family as well because I don't know when I'll see them again. So this whole trip wasn't just about, you know, traveling and going to art museums. It was like truly bonding with my family. And I think that was like so, so special and important, especially when I went to Ireland. There were so many moments like, I'm not gonna film like at someone's dinner table, I'm not gonna film like all that kind of stuff. So this travel vlog was fun to create, but it wasn't, you know, my whole experience. Um, what I got to do was like so much deeper than just a couple of videos thrown onto YouTube. So it's kind of hard to explain, but this trip was like insanely important to me. I will rem remember this for the rest of my life. And I learned so many important lessons that I will continue to take with me throughout my next travels and future journeys and stuff. So I'm really grateful again to have been able to visit family, experience new places, travel to really cool, you know, spots. And I hope this inspires you guys to also do stuff that scares you. Hop on a plane alone, uh, go to a country where you barely speak the language. Because you know what? What's the worst that could happen? You get yelled at. I got yelled at by a French lady in a bus. <laughs> it was scary, but hey, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, hop on a plane, get yelled at by old people. It can be fun sometimes. So anyways, see you guys next time.